Okay, so I wasn't really recording. I thought I was. Um, I'm actually surprised that these flowers didn't open up on the Kubano. Uh, they might open up when the sun hits them. The sun's still kind of working its way over the building. My uh, jalapeno is just about right. It has just a wee bit more to go on this side. Um, not much, and then I'll be picking that. I did only get one flower that did open, and it's on the side where the sun is, on the Cubanelle. The bell pepper hasn't finished closing, but both of the other two are doing fantabulous. And um, surprisingly, there's a lot of new growth on the bean plant. The cucumbers are all about the same size. Yeah. And then my herbs are basically dropping their seeds all around the bin that they're in, which I really don't care. I did have that big pepper we were following that stopped growing fall off of this plant and find another flower that I did pollinate um, when I thought I was recording. I'll pollinate it again. Uh-huh. And then the tomato that Anna lopped off has been growing quite rapidly. There's where she lopped it off. Yeah. And uh, this one put out flowers. So I come over here and I jingle them to pollinate them because you can't get into where the pollen is the way they grow. Because I really want to know what's in there. Yeah. I mean, there's not much going on this morning because it did rain last night. I mean, these greens are pretty large. Mm. And I do have flowers on my tomatoes that I am growing over here. Yep. I mean, it's not all that much, just Mr. Mantis is so used to me now, he only looked at me once today. Normally he starts moving away when I start fiddling in the garden, but now he's just staying there. He knows I'm not going to hurt him. So I'll see you guys after work. And uh, hopefully it's not too hot. So it's a good thing I came out after work because the spider mites came back. So I sprayed them with more of that hydrogen peroxide and water concoction and um, they're pretty much only going after the marigolds there is what well, looks like them living down here too but that could also be the hunter spider that I saw crawling on the outside of the basket yeah so I'm going to assume that all this damage is from them and I'm going to be looking into getting something a little bit stronger, but still not a chemical. So I did come out and I sprayed my bell pepper and my cubanelle pepper and the marigold really well. And I sprayed everything else in my garden. And I'm letting Anna spray everything with the last of the bottle. Letting Anna distribute the last of the water. Um... It is almost time to pick this jalapeno, and there are other ones starting to turn red. So, let me first show you this jalapeno. It's still a little on the green side over here. So once that spot goes away, it's time to pick it. But as you can see up here, I've got this one turning red, and I've got this one turning red as well as in the back I've got a few you can't tell because of the way the light is but I have a few that are turning red back here as well yeah, it's still overloaded and the tomatoes are starting to turn red too and it's not just the cherry tomatoes but I got a beef steak starting to turn as well. Ah, ah! 
Oh yeah, so Anastasia has been picking the bean pods off that did not get put inside. And she's been planting them in the pot that I had the zucchini in. And she just watered them with a, a peroxide and water mix. But um, I'm not watering the plants because it's rained the past couple days and if you move some of the soil aside, it's still wet right underneath where the roots are. Yeah. I apologize for my neighbors. They're being a little loud. They're having too much fun. <laughs> but that's a good thing. Um, yeah. So, that's about it. The uh, jalapeno being ripe and the spider mites coming back. So, yeah. I had originally planted the marigolds because my mother had told me that they help keep pests away from your garden. So when I agreed to it, I had assumed it was going to keep the bugs from eating my plants. No, they keep small mammals and deer away. And they attract spider mites like you won't believe. Yeah, so I got two one in with the cucumber that's almost dead from the spider mites, and I keep treating that one. And I've got this one here that was doing wonderful until the spider mites invaded. And I've got two over there. So next year, they don't go in the pots with my plants. If she wants me to grow them, I'm growing them from seed. I'm not buying them at a store. And they're going to be in little pots in front of my plants. But I also noticed I have a whole bunch of caterpillar eggs again. Yay! Not. They like my greens for some reason. So. And now the wilting on the plant is most likely from the heat and the spider mite combination. Because I did not find the spider mites on any other plant and I looked over them scrutin it. Like, I looked at each leaf, front and back, I didn't see any. So, yeah. It's a very sad day in the garden. And it took me forever to kill the ones on that plant because of how many there were. So I will be checking for spider mites every day since this is the third infestation I have had. And it's not a happy one. Mom, can I pick this? No. Nope. Not yet. Stop. It's See right it. here? This needs to finish ripening up right here and then you can pick it, okay? Maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Say thank you for watching my video. Yeah, she comes over and eats the greens every day.